Scott Ferris, uh, CEO of Inflection. Uh, first time at Davos. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about kind of what brought you here, what you're going to be focusing on this week. Well, I think uh, you know, quantum is becoming a, a bigger and bigger topic. Uh, certainly as AI has become a, a larger topic, quantum and A&I really go hand in hand. And we see quantum becoming a bigger part of the agenda as years go on. And we, we wanted to come here this year and understand a little bit what's going on and how we can contribute. Yeah, I think it's going to influence so many things from, you know, helping financial systems and anti-money laundering, we've heard about that, sustainability yeah. and, and, and planning on the ground, yeah. and, you know, civil engineering, uh, so many applications. I think people at times, though, become a little bit concerned about how fast it's moving, how fast it's being commercialized. Talk a little bit about, right. you know, your vision with inflection about the market, the overall yeah. understanding of quantum and, and, the, and the commercialization. Sure. Yeah, yeah, look, quantum is really, it's a broad continuum of capabilities and in quantum is people don't need to understand what how it works, but they need to understand is what quantum really delivers are, are better answers, faster answers, more accurate answers, more reliable answers. And if you think about you know how you deploy that, certainly quantum computing is a big topic. And uh, but you know it's also quantum's a lot more than computing. Quantum is sensing. Um, quantum is medical devices. Quantum is communications. And a lot of the early applications that we believe are going to scale in quantum won't be on the compute side, it's really going to be on what we call these edge, edge uh, devices in optical uh, precision timekeeping, for example. We're doing a lot of work in quantum radio frequency networks. So you said something to me when we were chatting offline a bit about the supply chain. You know, obviously, over the last couple of years, uh, we saw how damaging supply chain uh, issues could be on the semiconductor industry, which stopped the production of cars. It stopped the production of, you know, PCs and yeah. phones. What about quantum? I mean, yeah. I, there's a computer here. There's yeah. a system there. Like, when does the when does the system, the supply yeah. chain, start to catch up and allow us to do this at scale? Yeah, I think that's a great point. And I think one of the challenges in quantum, and it's really not visible because, again, everyone's focused on building prototypes, building research scale instrumentation, because we're really focused on, I think, the cutting edge of commercializing, again, sensors. We're starting to see the supply chain issue. and. If you start asking questions to your vendors, can you build a hundred of these parts or a thousand of these parts? Uh, it, it's just really the capacity is not there. So, much like you know, compared to the other supply chain challenge where things stopped, I think the, the challenge in quantum is just getting the supply chain started. Uh, yeah. there, there are large holes in the supply chain across the continuum, and again, the compute manufacturers really aren't seeing this because they're not at the stage that they're trying to scale. But from the position we sit on sensors, we, we see this every day. So what should I expect, you know, as an analyst, I'm tracking the industry, yeah. what should I expect inflection to be delivering to market over the next, you know, months to year? Sure. Yeah, I mean, like I said, right now we're focused on bringing practical quantum technology. These, these aren't well, a quantum state like a computer, these are quantum enabled. And so great examples, we're doing a tremendous amount of work in precision timekeeping next generation precision clocks. What will allow us to do with those precision clocks is we can speed up data centers by orders of magnitude. We can speed up data communication networks by three to 400X. Those products are products that we're bringing to market today. Uh, we're starting to put those in data centers today. Beyond that, as I mentioned earlier, we're working in this area called quantum radio frequency. A simple little way of thinking about it is we use atoms as antennas. You know, it's like the antennas that you have on your radio are now using atoms. And the great thing about uh, the atoms uh, and the, the quantum RF is they're extremely sensitive. They see parts of the, the RF spectrum that traditional antennas can't see. So that allows you to build resilient telecommunication networks. It allows you to build jam-proof telecommunication networks. This has applications, again, you know, from a commercial perspective on our cell phones. But you know, one of the challenges today is GPS jamming. Um, and with the quantum RF networks, we're able to, to solve significant problems in jamming of just GPS signals. And, and GPS is the fourth utility. Everything runs on GPS. And what we're ultimately focused on is, is really building out the parts and pieces to, to really build the next generation GPS. But an all quantum GPS that doesn't require satellites, it's all based upon terrestrial network capabilities. Well, Scott, that's all really exciting. Thanks so much for joining me yeah. here. Yeah. Walk and talk well, thanks, in Davos, man. and uh, have great. a great uh, World Economic Forum. Yeah, you too, thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you.